You might have seen the latest upload that I did on TikTok and Instagram ko wearing this shirt. I received a couple of comments asking me how I made this video. Na yon. Well, roughly it only took around 10 to 15 minutes to create it using Filmora 11. Well, y'all might be wondering kung for YouTube lang ba talaga ginagamit and yung mga professional videos ang Filmora 11. Let me tell you something. Hindi lang pang YouTube videos to, but you can also use this to create your videos not just for IG Reels, but also for your TikTok videos. So let's start. Since we're already here dito sa dashboard mismo ng Filmore 11, pwede natin kasing baguhin ngayon yung mismo project settings sa paano magiging presentation niya ngayon dito sa Filmore 11. So from 16 by 19. So we have to change it to vertical, yung 4 by 5. I already have a couple of videos na shinoot ko kanina. Meron na din ditong mga looks na pinagpraktisan ko earlier. But let's just try itong pinakamahabang meron ako and put it on the main timeline. The key to creating this video is keep it as short as possible pero lahat ng mga details sa kailangan should be present on the video. And the easiest way to do that is to trim out yung mga unnecessary parts of the video. Kasi kung makikita ninyo, medyo rough draft lang talaga to. Hindi siya yung spontaneous na pagtapon ko. And the magic to that or the OOTD shot that I did a one continuous rolling of camera habang nagchi-change ako ngayon ng damit ko. And what we need to do now is to trim out yung mga hindi kasali na parts and parang effect niya, e nagta-transition lang ako from wearing something decent to changing to the drip check na gusto kong gawin for no rich parents. So ang target ko kasi talaga dito is to create at least minimum of 30 seconds na video. Now let's trim it down muna. This is how I did naman yung flip-flops ko to rubber shoes transition. From that point, kailangan ngayon mag-landing ako dun sa shoes. So that point mismo, dyan ko siya ikakat. And then I'll be doing the same motion ulit para magmukhang umabot ako ngayon dun sa shoes. Parang sinote ko automatic. Diba? There. So from flip-flops to rubber shoes, kailangan maging smooth ngayon pagpasok ng pa ako dun sa shoes. Like, hindi ko sinuot gamit yung kamay ko. There you go. So kailangan lang natin mag-trim kahit konti pa para magmukhang saktong-sakto. So to make it simpler, naglagay na ako ngayon ng title ko mismo dun sa video from the first part. I entitled it, Trip Check. Simple lang. And hinanap ko ngayon yung mga parts na merong flick, simpleng tap, at saka mga twists and turns ko habang sinushoot ko yung video. And I decided to put on some elements dun sa part na yun. Para lang ma-highlight ko na sinuot ko yung shoes nag-flick ako ng daliri tapos makikita lalo ngayon na from this shirt na sinuot ko naging ganito ngayon the first element na ginawa ko is yung simpleng snap and I key in elements and meron na ako mga simpleng effects na nilagay ko dito this is the motion shape so click that motion shape and drag it down here on the timeline at isakto lang natin dun sa pag-flick ng daliri ko and align it as near as possible dun sa daliri pero kita pa din yung effect mismo right over here and I have another effect na ginawa ko ngayon when I made the small turn and key in yung pink energy para lang siyang slash this one ilagay ko siya sa bandang tuhod para makita na nag turn ngayon yung tuhod ko mismo and a couple of motion effects din dito. Kung nakita nyo, meron ako nilagay na parang usok. Yung parang sa paan ni Roadrunner. Over here. 
para makita na sinuot ko ngayon yung rubber shoes without using my hands. And lastly, again, yung logo ngayon ng No Rich Parents. And I also give it a little effects, yung chromatic aberration. Magkaroon yun ng konti elements yung paglabas ng logo ng clothing line na nag-sponsor sa akin para dito sa TikTok video na to. And there, that's it. Simple as that. Ganun ko lang ginawa ngayon yung TikTok video ko. And yep, that's about it. I hope you guys learned something from it. Filmora 11 is not just for YouTube videos and your professional videos, but also you can use it for your other contents, especially for Instagram and TikTok. I guess that's about it. Thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for helping me reach 3,000 subscribers. And this time, let's hit 10,000. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.